So that's 23 here in today's night therapy. We got a ton of new knives to show y'all. 10, whoop, yep, 10 all together. <laughs> And uh, let's just get right into it. I'm not going to spend too much time with these because it's just an unboxing. I just want to give y'all uh, my first impressions. So we'll get some of these off. We'll get started with this one coming from Iconic Knives. If you didn't see this one yet, this is the first one I got from them. Um, this is a um, uh, Iglesias design. I can't think of his freaking first name. But um, I just finished testing on this one. Y'all definitely going to want to see this one. Uh, man, I've been really enjoying this knife. Talk about high quality feeling, uh, very, very smooth action. And we got another one to check out now. I don't know what's the deal here, but this is the second package this week that came. Look, this is how this showed up just now. So hopefully whatever's in, I mean, hopefully the, the knife that's in here is okay. Yep. Looks like this is in a separate bag. Let me see. So this is the boxes that it comes with. Uh, I talked to the owner of Iconic Knives, super nice guy. We chatted for a long time. I had talked to him at Blade Show as well. Um, he's got a lot of experience in, um, you know, in the knife community. He's a uh, U.S. Marine vet, and you can tell he really cares about the products. And yeah, we'll talk. I'll talk more about you know some of the stuff we talked about in the reviews of these. So what we have here is the one I was saying I wanted to get. This is the Ramon Chavez design. Let's get a flip out of it. Oh yeah. So this is the RCK9 and it, it resembles that, um, uh, that fixed blade he did a long time ago that's far discontinued. Uh, I saw it on Terra Fanatic's channel. I wanted to pick one of those up so bad when they were, there, they were out. But definitely, definitely, you can tell that that's a, a Ramon Chavez uh, design, no doubt. This one has a blasted stone wash finish. There's their logo. They got the beautifully done the crowned uh, liners with the uh, jumping right there. The same pocket clip. This one's in uh, like a battle gray G10 D2 steel. And I, I he was telling me that these knives are... Uh, hand fitted the locks are hand fitted and they are hand sharpened and i can definitely tell that these are hand sharpened after doing the testing for this one like i said you're not gonna want to miss this one uh this one has it keeps getting smoother and smoother and it's kind of hard to you know explain over a video but you just gotta feel it there's absolutely no resistance I don't really know too many knives in the budget arena that are this silky smooth. I mean, like, it, let's see, is this one, yeah, this one's almost a, a free dropper. Can you reverse it? Yep, you can reverse flick it. But it's, it's just the fact of you don't feel the bearings like, you know, grinding on the steel or anything. And uh, yeah, that I haven't felt many that felt this good in this, you know, in this under $100 price range. Um, so super cool. I will be re reviewing the Casador here soon. And then uh, the Chavez, um, RCK9, not long after that. All right, we got two packages coming from one of my favorite retailers, White Mountain Knives. That's where this one came from. But let's see what's inside of this one. Uh, I know I ordered two knives from them. I don't even I remember one of them. I don't remember what the second one is. I think this is the second one. If I had to, if I had to guess, let's see. Budget and oh, okay, huh? Did I do? <laughs> I think I I made a boo boo here. Yep. Well, that's not a problem. I didn't realize I <laughs> had bought this one from White Mountain Knives, which. Not a big deal. I'll, I have one of these to my giveaway, and I bought one from Amazon. So let's see if the quality is the same. This is the new Best Tech Man Ronin, and I think that's what it's called. Yeah, the Ronin. What what <laughs> got me excited is besides everybody talking about how good it was, is the fact that it's using 14C instead of D2. And I, not only did I get two of them, I got the exact same one. This is also the orange G10 one with the stone wash. Is this stone washed? Yeah. So here's the knife. 
I love that blade shape, that nice leaf shape, drop point, spear point, whatever you want to call it, because this it is a spear point if you look at you know the evenness there. Let's see. Yeah, that's the only thing I noticed right off the back, which not a bad thing by any means, but <clears throat> the Omega Springs have a lot of tension on them. It's not the easiest to for me to pull them back, but the dexterity in my hands is not the best. Definitely smooth, and this blade is going to probably perform great. I don't know. I mean, it feels decently thin. Looking down right here, I mean, it's it's good enough. And they're using the same type of uh, look, <laughs> same type of clip, but it's probably a parts bin clip if I had to take a guess. So <clears throat> that's the next one, the Best Tech Ronin 14C G10 bore lock. And the ergos initially feel really good. So hopefully I can get that one reviewed. And like I said, I will add one of those to my giveaway. And by the rate we're going, I might be to 50,000 before we get the video, the giveaway done. I apologize it's taking me so long, y'all. I'm, I'm doing everything I can. The holidays kick my butt. I'm playing catch up with reviews and stuff like that. I'm just going to have to do a live stream the first chance I get. So please, please be patient with me. I promise you I'll make it worth your while. And here's the second one from White Mountain Knives. I'm pretty sure I know what this is. Let's see. I'm using the uh, the Hogue Ritter Mini RSK to get into this one. Yep. So we have a Miguron. Now, I, <laughs> I'd seen this one on Amazon a while back. I thought it looked enticing. Um, and I wanted to see if their quality's gotten any better because I have yet to get me a Miguron that didn't have some issues. And they're a new company, so... You know, I, I didn't write them off because I liked a lot about their knives. <laughs> and, um, you know, he passed a uh, sticker there. They, they impressed me last year. Uh, not Mickey Ron, I'm sorry. I was, I was thinking of another company. But th their designs impressed me last year at least. So here's the knife. This is the Plora, I think it is. And I just thought it looked attractive. You have a mill titanium pocket clip. This thing's weighty. Because you got those massive chunks. Oh, it looks like one massive chunk of uh, G10, but it's got a G10 with uh, stainless liners right there. Uh, centered up. Let's see the action. Good action. And see, that drop point blade just looked like it'd be so useful. It's a, I would call it a medium size EDC knife, probably seven and some change long. Uh, this one's in 14C. That's another reason why I decided to pick it up. Good access at lock bar and pretty good action. Now it's very blocky, very blocky. Now they have chamfered the sides right here, so it's not really sharp, but I can tell you right now, this part right here where that comes out, feels like it's going to be a hot mess whenever I go to use it, but we'll see. I don't want to say that right now because you have a stone wash flats and a satin finish on the, I mean, satin on the flats, stone wash on your primary bevel. Looks nice. So stay tuned for this one, the Miguron Plural. Now this next one I picked up from my local shop and by the box you can tell that it's a Chris Reeve Knives. This has been a grail for me ever since I seen it back in the day, but there, I thought they completely discontinued this model for some reason, and maybe they have, but my local shop happened to get this, and he knew I was looking for one, so he called me up, and I bought it on the spot, because I didn't want to miss out again now. So what we have here is the Pacific, the, the CRK and uh, Horsey Pacific. We got that old tactical sheath there. I'll probably, if I, you know, I'm not sure what I'm going to do yet, but I... Probably buy me a, a leather sheath for it because, um, yeah, I don't. This is just it, this is like a, one of the BK, the backer sheaths almost. Yep, so let's check out the knife. And I did check this one out, <laughs> so I, I know there's something on here that I, I wasn't expecting. So, what you have here is almost uh, like a survival style knife. Um, it's not a really big knife though, I guess you could call this a survival knife. Um, or a fighting knife, whatever. 
It's uh, got that beautiful CRK crown spine up there. Excellent uh, black canvas micarta with some texture. And then you got that nice palm swell. This is just a super high quality fixed blade right here. Very, very high quality. Just uh, Horsey definitely knows how to design a knife. A lot of his uh, designs speak to me. Now, if I'm not mistaken, and somebody who knows this, let me know down in the comments. Wasn't this knife originally in 3V steel? I could be mistaken. This could be the same steel that it was beforehand. But this one is in CPM 4V. Now, like I said, that could have been the original steel. Regardless, I'm super stoked about it because... Uh, I plan on testing this one and seeing what I think about their 4V. And does anybody know, is this model, are they continuing to make this model? Or were they filling back orders from, you know, like my local shop? I don't know. Or are they still making it? So that's that was my grail right here. I've been trying to get one of these for the longest time. But they, I found a few of them. They wanted too much money for them. We have two coming from Vosti Cutlery, and this is the Valkyrie model. You have two different blade shapes and a couple of different um, handle scale options or different colors. Now, these are out of stock right now. I will do my full review and testing of these whenever they are coming back in stock. I think she said February, if I'm not mistaken. But the this is the CX version or SAX uh, blade shape. Probably my favorite right here. Uh, super comfortable. Now, I saw I saw my buddy Metal Complex's video on the Raccoon, and I saw Casey's video on his Valkyries. So, <laughs> I will let you know, and you'll see it in my shorts. Uh, I think Metal Complex had his uh, Raccoon fail on him, and Casey was spine whacking uh, the, the, one of his Valkyrie, and it failed on him. I spine whacked both of these, and they did not fail on me, and I, I beat on my raccoon, and it did not fail on me. Now, one thing I can say for sure on any button locks, because I've had button locks fail on me before, if the spring tension isn't tight, if it's got a super smooth action, and, the, and it's because the spring tension's kind of loose in it, maybe you can get some up and down play. That means the spring tension's too loose on it and any vibration is going to cause that thing to slip out. I'll do some further testing with this, but um, I haven't had any issues with either one of these or my raccoon. Like I said, I'll show y'all. I mean, be looking for that chart if you want to see. Uh, I just I just hit them like this. I was doing some drums with them on here. But um, these are sold out at the moment. Uh, sorry, I, I didn't get these till after they sold out. Uh, oh, it looks like this one's a black wash, and this one looks like it's just a black finish. They have the three deployments. You have the back flipper, the uh, thumb stud, and the front flipper. So, super cool. Very neat. Um, stay tuned. When you see the review for this, that means they're back in stock, and I'll definitely let y'all know that as well. Another one I think I only showed on a short that came in the other day is this beauty. I got to say, this material right here is absolutely stunning. This is that, that uh, f uh, what is it, aluminum foiled um, carbon fiber. And what this is, is the Tuya Nas MV4, the design by Mr. Dave Warren. I have an MV1. And this thing, just as soon as I saw it, spoke to me. Now, I think these are sold out, but he did tell me that there's going to be another drop in February, I believe. And also, he has, there's two dealers that got some of these that will be uh, putting them on their site. I'm, I'm pretty sure it's Blade HQ, and I don't remember the other company offhand. Uh, I will try to let y'all know that as well. But super cool. Uh, I'll probably wait to do the review on this one whenever I know they're going to be in stock. And uh, I don't know if the, the next run is going to have this material in it or not. I don't know. any. I just know that they will be doing another run of these. 
nice contoured scales. I love that they put the material on the back as well. And it's definitely not going to, I mean, my lighting is definitely not going to do this any justice, but this stuff is so cool looking. Everybody I've showed this to in real life have been amazed and they were like, what is that? <laughs> Because in one light, you see the carbon fiber shimmers. And then in the other light, the aluminum just really grabs the light and shines off of it. So really cool. And not to mention Mr. Dave Warren is a super, super nice gentleman. I've, and I've gotten the pleasure to talk with him at Blade Show a few times. Now, another one that I think I only did um, <laughs> in a short is the Devo Knives Buzz. <laughs> uh, this right here, I got in on this pre-order, and I also, besides this one, got me the reverse tux version that they did on the MASH. Super cool. And, <coughs> spoiler, me and Kevin were talking the other day. Um, I sent him over one of my designs that we that I want to collaborate with him on. And uh, yeah, so maybe in the next uh, year or so, you will have a Stasa 23 design. So the buzz, in my, it's almost like a uh, more premium version of the mash, but not really because, I mean, you can see it's, it's, it's a different, different blade shape. But man, oh man, this one has this beautiful, deep hollow grind on here. You have a uh, titanium liner lock, contoured scales, nice and thick, so it fills out the hand nicely, very comfortable. It has that blade hole, and it has the top flipper that works exceptional. I love, I'm not a front flipper fan, but whenever they have this top where it's rolled over like that, stays out of the way, and it's easy to do, I love that. And you got the blade hole. So we won't talk any more about this one until the full review. And uh, I want to say the pre-order might be live for this one. So what this is, <coughs> this is, uh, let me open it up. Where This is the Knoll Knives and uh, Corbin Steelworks Collaboration Grace. Got that wicked, wicked Tanto there. Uh, Zerk accents everywhere. I think Zerk pivot and thumb stud clip and backspacer, if I'm not mistaken. Beautifully contoured scales here. Uh, now, this isn't really my thing. I'm not, you know, that aggressive tanto. I, I think it's a sick looking knife. And uh, I love um, Carbon Steelworks fixed blades. And the action on this thing is just remarkable. I mean, smooth as smooth could be. Oh, it'd be nice if they put that lock, that lock uh, relief on the inside because it would keep this so clean looking. But we'll talk about that in the full review. This is a medium to smaller knife. Let me show you up against the uh, Ontario Rat Model 2. So it's a little bit bigger than the Rat Model 2, so, you know, it's not a huge knife. This, this knife right here, uh, the Null Knives, oh, I just realized there's this logo. I was getting this one confused with uh, this one, and I'm, I had to bring this one back out. This is the one from uh, Get Good Screw and Gamer Studio. <laughs> now, they're definitely much different if you look at it. Uh, they're both just Tantos. And I, I wanted to bring this one back out real quick because um, whenever I did the unboxing to this one and did the video on it, I didn't know a whole lot because it was uh, it was sent to me and I had talked with them a while back. So real quick, the name of this one is going to be the um, the Neutron Star, and this one is designed by Cass K A S S. And uh, I'll give you all other information. These are in production now. I don't know when they're going to release. Uh, I'll find that out for the full review. This thing right here, look at that. Ridiculously smooth, just like this one. Super smooth. Very, very smooth action. They both feel buttery. This one feels so good in hand. So that's all the new stuff. Stay tuned. Let me know what you would like to see reviews on first. And... You know, whenever I can do that, I will, you know, put put them 
ahead of the pack. These uh, Valkyries, I, I probably, no, I, I won't review these until um, I hear when they're coming back in stock. So, uh, you know, you can make your decision then. And, uh, yeah, stay tuned for, you know, whenever I announce my, my giveaway. And, yeah. <laughs> we got knives galore, people. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, please leave them below. I hope everybody's having an absolute amazing day. I will see y'all on the next one. Peace.